what's the limit of knowledge? I'll give you an example. Let's imagine we are collectively all of the computers in the world, and we're all thinking, and we're all thinking based on knowledge that exists that was previously invented. How do we invent something completely new? So Einstein. So when you study the way scientific discovery works, biology, math, so forth, and so on. What typically happens is a br truly brilliant human being looks at one area and says, "I see a pattern that's in a completely different area.、It、has nothing to do with the first one. It's the same pattern." And they take the tools from one and they apply it to another. Today, our systems cannot do that. If we can get through that,、um, I'm working on this. It's、uh, a general a technical term for this is non-stationarity of objectives. You, the, the rules are keep changing. Um, we will see if we can solve that problem. If we can solve that, we're going to need even more data centers, and we'll also be able to invent completely new schools of scientific and intellectual thought, which will be incredible.